Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have created and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA and we have also explored about Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency. Right? So in order to integrate Thymlib in a Spring Boot project, we just have to use this single Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency. And this dependency does a lot of stuff. Okay? So if you dive into this dependency, it internally provides Thymlib Spring 6 integration dependency. Also, it will provide Thymlib extra Java 8 time dependency. And if you dive inside, Thymlib Spring 6 integration dependency, it internally provides Thymlib dependency. It means that in order to integrate Thymlib in a Spring Boot project, we just have to add Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency. Now let's go and let's explore Spring Boot auto configuration for Thymlib. Well, here auto configuration means Spring Boot will automatically configure Thymlib related configurations. We don't have to manually do it. Okay, Spring Boot will automatically configure Thymlib related configurations. We don't have to manually do that. Well, Spring Boot provides auto configuration for Thymlib by adding Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency. It means that Spring Boot will provide auto configuration for Thymlib whenever we add this Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency in our Spring Boot project. Next, Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency, it internally provides Spring and Thymlib integration dependencies. For example, if you dive, dive inside this Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency, it internally provides Thymlib Spring 6 integration dependency. Next, Spring Boot automatically configures View Resolver for Thymlib. Well, whenever we add this Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency in a Spring Boot project, then Spring Boot will automatically configure View Resolver for Thymlib. Well, whenever we develop a Spring MUC application, we have to configure a View Resolver for Thymlib. Okay, so Spring MUC basically required a View Resolver in order to resolve the view. Okay, so Spring Boot will automatically configure View Resolver for Thymlib. We don't have to manually configure the View Resolver for Thymlib. Next, Spring Boot auto configures location for Thymlib template. By default, Spring Boot will look for Thymlib templates in a resources slash templates folder. For example, if you go to our project, we have a resources folder within that we have templates folder. Okay, so Spring Boot will automatically configure the location for Thymlib templates. The by default the location is templates folder. Okay, so by default Spring Boot will look for all the Thymlib templates within this templates folder. We don't have to manually configure the location for Thymlib templates. Okay, so these are the configurations Spring Boot will automatically does for us. We don't have to manually configure all these things for Thymlib. Next, let's explore more about Spring Boot auto configuration by looking into the internal source code. Well, Spring Boot provides Spring Boot auto configure library and this library contains all the auto configuration classes and if you can notice here Thymlib auto configuration is one of the auto configuration class and this class basically provides auto configuration for Thymlib. For example, if you just scroll down and if you can see here this is the spring bin and this spring bin automatically configure the view resolver for Thymlib. Okay, and if you can scroll down and notice here a couple of things like Spring Boot will automatically configure layout dialect whenever it will find Thymlib layout dependency in a class path. And Spring Boot will also configure Spring Security dialect whenever it will find Spring Security and Thymlib integration dependency in a class path. Next, Spring Boot will automatically configure Java 8 time dialect bean. Alright, perfect. Now we pretty much understood how Spring Boot will provide auto configuration for Thymlib. In next lecture, we will create a hello world example using Spring Boot and Thymlib. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.